And what up everybody, welcome back to Fro Publications YouTube channel. This channel talk about zines and DIY publishing. And I am happy to say that issue 13 uh, just got mailed out to all the subscriptions and to the order that I got. Those have gone out. Um, the sticker did not come out as nice as I wanted it to come out. For whatever reason, I could not get the Cree cut to work. And in all honesty, I figured out what it was and it's just my laptop is done my laptop cannot take the load the work burden that I place on it and eventually I will need to upgrade my laptop something that I probably should have done a long time ago but now that I'm aware of like how it's hindering some of the stuff that I'm trying to tackle I definitely will be trying to I guess save my pennies up and, and do that move like I said, man, this is one of those where I'm really happy with the fact that the execution is getting a lot stronger, a lot better. The print quality, you know, I, I, I focus on the print quality, the paper quality for a long time. That has gotten to a point where I'm really happy and very comfortable with the paper quality. And it's that process of like I've learned what kind of paper I like, what kind of paper I feel brings things to life. And that was a process in and of itself. And I've gotten that process down. And now... I figured out kind of the envelope situation, which was something that I as well really, really thought like it's like it's losing space. It's something that we could do more with. And I'm so happy with this idea. And I and I think that the execution of it just came out so nice. The blue line, all that. I'm fucking digging it. And now it's, it's just a process of like the stickers. Right. And I bought multitude of different kind of sticker paper. I have been practicing but my laptop just keeps crashing, man. Every time I, I go into the Cut program, it just crashes on me. So I don't know. But, you know, I ain't going to keep running my laptop down on the ground, man. My laptop put in a lot of work for a lot of years, man. I've had this laptop for, I don't even know, man, like six years already. So, you know, th these laptops, they get old and you got to just change them out. And this is that moment for mines. But it, it did its work, man. Uh, I'm already formatting the next zine. Uh, just... I'm just working on a lot of stuff, man. And so the Thrill Comics project, man, is going strong. I don't see an end to it anytime soon. I definitely have been back in like a zone of like creativity and it's been flowing. I got a lot of fun things that I can't wait to just put on paper, print it, and just ship this shit out to you guys. Uh, you know, Halloween's coming up. I don't know if people even care about Halloween. For me, it's always just an excuse to dress up however I want and to watch movies to have the excuse to just stay home for a week on end and just watch whatever crazy fucking movie i want to watch so i know i look forward to it eating a bunch of candy and junk food and shit like that so i definitely hope you guys are looking forward to it next issue of furrow comics issue number 14 will be done pretty soon it is a really cool fucking comic book zine that's getting put together and we're just gonna keep doing what we do man i just i was really happy about it i'm literally I literally just dropped them off at the post office and it was just like, I'm going to sit down and chit chat with the homies that I just haven't talked to you guys on a face to face just because I just been, I just been working on a lot of things and, uh, and hopefully as those things come into fruition, you guys are going to enjoy them and, and we're just going to keep building this shit up. All right, guys, beyond that, man, thank you so much for watching. Please like, share, subscribe, and I'll see you guys tomorrow. Lights.